Roll the clip. Now try this trivia. Now try this trivia. Now trivia. Now trivia. Now trivia this. Okay, Nick, here we are. We're playing a quick game. Five questions. Okay, we pulled some reviews of video game adaptations. I'm going to read the review. You're going to tell me if you can guess what game the review is for and then guess the Rotten Tomato the, score. The game or the movie? Yeah. It, well, it's yes. movie adaptations of the game, so yeah, it yeah. should be the same title. <laughs> They're not always. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. I can't think of a single one that's not it's at least similar to Raider video games and it's Tomb Raider oh my on God. the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be that specific. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Are you ready? I'm so ready. I'm... I think I'm going to crush this. I know my ad- video game adaptations, I think. Oh, these are IMDb. Oh, I'll tell you whether it's what the where it's from so you can rate it out of 10 or out of 100. Okay. 10 is IMDb, 100 yep. is Rotten Tomatoes. So okay. this one's IMDb. Can popcorn movies be less ambitious? The latest attempt to fit an acclaimed franchise with tw- 42 hours of content and story into just two? Make your own judgment from that. The plot seems to have been invented while the filming process of the film was being executed, which would not surprise me at this point if it were true. While clinging to the media mediocrity of the actor's work, the same ones who clearly did not want to be part of the film in the first place. That's it? Yeah. Four out of ten. That could have been. I mean, uh, oh, I thought I, I had told to guess you the score. score. Sorry. Okay. Four out of ten. I get a point. Marcus, that review could be every single video game adaptation there's there is nothing to say that could have been marcus that could have been doom that could have been sonic the hedgehog that could have been assassin's creed that could have been resident evil that could have been anything god oh also the rating is from the review so that's fine you still have to get the rotten tomatoes oh right 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 yeah oh my god that could have been anything 42 hours of content okay 42 hours of content is just two and it's another so it's not one of the early 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 ones which makes me feel like it's not doom it's not resident evil okay because of that i'm gonna guess assassin's creed that's a very good guess that's a very because it's right it's wrong Nick, Damn the it. answer was Uncharted. And can you guess? That's so. Can I be honest? Uh huh. You were close to guessing that one? No, I kind of like that movie. I kind of like it. <laughs> can you guess the Rotten Tomato score? Did you watch it? I did. I did not like it. Did like you? any of it? It was fine. It was fine. It was okay. It was fine. I think this rating is appropriate for it. Nick, what do you think the rating is? 61%. It is not 61%. It is 41%. I think that's appropriate <laughs> for the film. <laughs> that's not fair. It's not a four out of 10. It that's was a, a six out, out of 10. 10. It was a six and a half. Uh, it's a four out of 10. <laughs> it, was a, it was okay. Tom Holland was good. Mark Wahlberg was Mark Wahlberg. Mark, I Tom like Mark Holland's Wahlberg. always good, though. It's not, that doesn't give me right. merit. So nah. I, don't, I don't know. I just... I felt so bad because like I I didn't hate almost anything Tom Holland was doing. Mm-hmm. I really didn't. Mm-hmm. Everything around him was the movie awful. was bad. The movie was bad. Like, also, the, like Sully. the puzzles were bad and like oh, the what? puzzles were stupid. And Sully, man. Oh, you Darren, we said Uncharted, the same thing. You play Uncharted. You yeah. fall in love with this older guy who's like, blah, blah, blah. and Mark Wahlberg wasn't Sully. Mark Wahlberg was being Mark Wahlberg. And it was like, yeah, I don't I want Mark it. Wahlberg. I want Sully. I was okay. Act. Be Sully. Anyway, uh, are you I, ready just for this like one? the way that movie came out? Hold on, I'm still my high horse spot. Uncharted. <laughs> the way that movie came out, where it was like almost a Mark Wahlberg movie, but then it took so long that then they gave it. They cast Tom Holland almost Tom more Holland. like flashbacks, but then yeah. they were like, let's just give it to Tom yeah. Holland. I don't know. I just, I just want, he, I want the best for little I'm, Tom. Tom. I literally was watching The Last of Us, and I turned yeah. to Darren. And I said, "Man, you know what would make a great TV show? Uncharted." I forgot that they made an Uncharted movie. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, and I was like, oh man, this might like pave the way for Uncharted. Uncharted happened already. Oh my God. Okay. Get, take out Tom Holland, reboot it <laughs> as a TV show. It's true. They could do that easy. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here's my question. One more question and then, oh I'm, my then I'm God. done. Oh my God. One more question and then I'm done. Tom Holland is one of the biggest action stars right now, I think. He's very sure. known. Everyone, a lot of people know him. A lot of people are like appreciate him as that his acting. I lo- I love him. I think he's great. Uh-huh. How much longer can he go the way he's going without getting any taller? Because he can't play. He but he's he's charismatic and youthful. So when he uses but, he loses his youth, that's when he can't do it anymore. Right. So what happens when he's thirty four? Well, look at Ryan Reynolds. Ryan he's Reynolds, tall, sh- sure, but he's charismatic. 
Also, no. Hollywood is full of short people. Tom Cruise. Thank you. Tom Cruise is the shortest man alive. He's like but, three feet tall. But Tom Holland is lanky. Tom Cruise like no. Tom Cruise is a fucking, little. He's a tiny man. No, but also Tom Cruise is like is so egocentrical. They got a lot of Apple boxes in a lot of his movies, Marcus. Yes. They don't yes. cast people. They don't. Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise because they refuse to cast someone taller imagine, than Tom Cruise. Imagine, Tom Holland uh-uh. had to act opposite uh-uh. Zendaya. You're coming from a point of toxic masculinity. Tom <laughs> Holland can easily act with taller women around him. Okay. Wow. It's the Short King <laughs> era, baby. There, that is very funny. It is the era of Short Kings. Okay, all right. What's your next question? I'm a tall I'm guy, so I can't. You're I can't an action relate. star forever. I could yeah. be an action star anytime I want. Okay, Just throw what's me the next in one? one. Next one. Prepare for trouble. Ten out of ten. Okay, now be honest. How many of you? How many of you who rated this movie a one actually saw it? Probably none. It might be a little sappy with its message, but it's a lot of fun to watch. Anyway, the best part of the movie is the final showdown between dot, 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 not because of the battle, but because of the dialogue. Why do you run? Are you afraid to learn who is supreme? 10 out of 10. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. You said run. You said battle. You said silly. Mm-hmm. Do you remember the title it, of the review? Oh, oh! I thought you were. I thought you were saying ten out of ten and a title to your joke. I thought. <laughs> I thought you were giving a tagline re- to your joke. No, no, ten out of ten was the review. Oh, ten out of ten. What? What was, what the, was title the title of the review? of the review? I thought it was a joke. I wasn't. Uh, what was it? It was prepare for trouble. Oh, is this Detective Pikachu? Is that your guess, or is it is your guess Sonic the Hedgehog? I swear to God, if it's Sonic and you made me go back by <laughs> saying that, I'm gonna be pissed. But it was it's Detective Pikachu. <laughs> It's Pokemon the first movie, Nick. How dare you? How dare you? Wait, what is it? The best part of the movie is the final showdown. Detective Pikachu didn't have a final showdown. I mean, it did. It, there was a Mewtwo showdown. It was shit, though. Wait, that's not a, the animated movie? Yeah. That's a, I thought we, a, That's not... If we're, it's a movie. Hold on. If it's we're a movie doing animated, of an that, anime. changes the, that changes the entire game. There are lots of good adaptations that are animated. It's a look good. The is Pokemon subjective. movies are good. You talking are about Mewtwo good? Strikes Back? Are you good? The Pokemon the first movie. Nick, what is the what is the Rotten Tomato score of Pokemon the first movie? This is just video game movies. This is this is a movie of a video game. It is a video game movie. <laughs> what score did it get? It's a continuation of the anime. It's not an is it canon in of the, the anime. Game. No, it's not. It's a video game movie. It is canon in the anime. And that's a video game anime. It's a video game adaptation. They are both video game adaptations. This is a video game adaptation. Put it in the comments. Tell Marcus he's wrong. <laughs> Put it in the comments. This is a travesty. This is bullshit. I stand by it. I stand Clearly, by it. Clearly, this was live action re adaptations. That, that was obviously no, the it inference. Was not. These are video everything. game adaptations. The inference. You infer. Inference. Live action. 92%. 16%. Wait. The Pokemon, the first movie has 16%. The one with Mewtwo. Has six Mewtwo Strikes Back. Ha- no, not Mewtwo Strikes Back. Mewtwo Strikes Back is not the name of the first movie. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mewtwo Strikes Back's the sequel when he comes back, right? No, I just I just watched uh it was released originally. Oh, it changed its name to Pokemon the first movie okay. after, but when it it's first came out, one. it was Mewtwo Strikes Back. It's the and same the one. reason was I actually just watched a video about this like yesterday. The reason was is because originally they were going to seed Mewtwo in the anime and start a conflict and then it was going to be him striking back against ash in the movie Got but it. when the porygon episode happened and gave all the kids seizures the the anime went on hiatus for four months so then they couldn't put the mutu yeah, in yeah. there so then they just kind of changed it so that he was striking back against the scientist got it okay well nick i'm sorry 16 percent. you knew which one i was talking about and it was 16 percent on Rotten tomatoes just failing. I honestly, it has ninety two percent in my heart. In my heart, I was shocked when I saw Mewtwo that. Strikes Back has twelve percent. That's a good movie. Sixteen percent. That's a good movie. Yeah, it's a very, very good movie. It's just a good I mean, movie. Where else are you gonna have Pikachu's vacation, bro? I know. 
I know. Vacation. All is that where you saw Don Fan? Vacation. Oh, yeah. First appearance oh, of Don Fan. I was, I was so shook when I saw Don Fan. I was like, Come that's on. the best Pokemon. What is that? You got Ancient Mew when you go into the movies. Mm-hmm. Okay. I had it. This it was next stolen. review, three oh out of God. ten. I'm not sure what I was expecting. Going into a film that was adapted from a video game, but I can't help but be disappointed by this half-ass horror comedy. If you watch yeah. sitcoms, the cast might draw you in. However... The whole story is lacking complexity, any dedication to special effects, and the mystery is way too obvious. I almost said Scooby-Doo and then had to remind myself that wasn't a video game. (laughs) (laughs) Horror comedy? What horror? Oh, I'm trying to parcel out in my head if Doom was supposed to be a comedy or if it was just funny. I don't think it was supposed (laughs) to be a comedy. I'll no, give you that. Man. I'll give you that. I guess that's not my... It, well, that was a funny movie, though. I didn't watch it, but it sounds funny. It was funny. Uh, it was so ridiculous. Horror comedy? It was, I was, I'll give you a hint. It was. It's a newer movie. Horror comedy. Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's? That hasn't come out yet. I didn't think so. I like the director. You like the director. Ryan Johnson. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan Peele. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Spielberg. You very much admired the director. The you invited Daniel. them on the podcast. I've invited. Listen, I've invited a lot of people <laughs> on the podcast. Edgar Wright, Scott Pilgrim. No, that's not horror. What horror? You DM'd the director and said, "Hey, you should come on the podcast." And he's like, "Ah, oh, sounds cool, but I'm busy." Werewolves Within. Yeah, Werewolves, Werewolves Within. within. You that got is a it. horror comedy. Wow, you got it. Can I be honest? Still haven't watched that movie. Guess the Rotten Tomatoes Not, score. For lack of want, I just... Uh, I saw it. Like it was pretty movies. good. I, mean, I want to watch it. The, the IMDb... That movie was no, really Ryan liked. Tomatoes. In, so Ryan Tomatoes. Really liked in indie circles, but I'm sure most people didn't get it. So I'm going to guess 74. 86%. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. Sam Richardson carried that movie on his back. That's the main guy? Mm-hmm. I love Sam I like Richardson. Him. It's great. I like him. I like him. Okay. All right. Well, I stink. There's this game. I was so confident going in. You were confident. You I was confident. so confident. Freaking Pokemon, okay. the first movie. Never played I'm taking the that game. point. It was called Music Strikes Back. What? Either one. Whatever. You got it. It's the same one. No, you I got didn't. The point I guess, for oh, no, it. I didn't. Remember? I guess oh. Detective Pikachu. Oh, you got it. That's why. That's why. Okay. Never I'm played the game. history. Never played the game, but this film is fun. Seven out of ten. Great visuals, fast pace, amazing fight scenes, and Mila Jovovich equals fun. No plot or anything like that, of course, but a great ride overall if you are looking for a Monster Bunch flick to watch. Hold on. You wouldn't put Milo Jovovich in a review without trying to throw me off. Nick, she's in like 52 different... (laughs) She's in a lot of anime adaptations and comic book. She's in like 52 different video game movies. I can only think of one. Oh, okay. But I know it's not that one because then you wouldn't have put Mola Jovovich in the thing. So what else is she? Ultraviolet's a comic book. Hellboy is a comic book. She was in Hellboy? Development was original. She was the main witch lady. The fire lady? The newest one. No. Who? In the newest one, the main witch lady. Oh, the new one. The villain. Yeah, she was the Yeah, she was the villain. Great. Shit, what was it called? Bloodstone? No. Uh, You know what I'm trying to say. I'm close, right? It's like, it's... uh, Barb, ba- ba- bear, bay, not bayonetta, ba- but I would watch. Blood. Well, she should not be bayonetta. Please don't cast her in bayonetta. Uh, okay, Resident Evil is my guess. Resident Evil is my guess. Resident Evil is a good guess, Nick, but it's not Resident Damn Evil. It. it is Monster Hunter. They made a Monster Hunter. Movie? They made a Monster Hunter movie in 2020. Really? Uh huh dragons they did i remember oh is mila jovovich the isekai yeah is it good no i mean well i haven't watched it so i can't say but this person gave it a 7 out of 10 is it an american film yeah oh is that the guy from is that the guy that does flips (laughs) the guy that does flips is that the actor that does flips not known for (laughs) acting but he does flips you know what I'm talking about? He's known for his flipping in uh in a uh, kung fu fight. Yeah, movies. yeah, sure. It's probably the flip guy. Is it him? He's probably flipped a couple of times. I'm sure. Shut up! Stop it! You're making me sound awful. You... <laughs> Tony Ya, yeah, he's known yeah, for his flips. Oh, the, yeah, Tony Ya flip. 
He's the flip guy. <laughs> She's the flip guy. He's the flip guy. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking right? about. He's known for doing a lot of flips. Ong Bok. He's the Ong Bok guy. How many flips in Ong Bok? A lot. A lot. Hold, <laughs> let me check. How many flips in Ong Bok? What's the Ong Bok flip count? Uh, 10 craziest stunts on Ong. Two regular front flips that keep his... Like... The, the, his 10 craziest those are all flips yeah okay got it well we'll start a website guys get flipped and it'll no, count look, all the it, flips not, in all the no, movies no, 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 ever no, no, no. made fuck you no we'll, no no, we'll start no, no, no. That. look at this read this look at it Re- look at that article they're all flips okay yeah 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 uh-huh like one of them is a flaming knee anyway all right fine we'll give me not the last a flip one. oh um ryan tomato eight percent 44 percent oh okay okay Tremendously and astonishingly boring. Three out of ten. Yet another addition to the long list of wacky video game adaptations. In short, almost 20 minutes of English plus shabby script plus dust sequences. I don't know what you call it. Plus ripped off action sequences of Prince of Persia and confusing direction and boring performances equals this movie. It's a long math equation. It was literally vague and shallow. Total waste of my time. On my personal scale, I'd give it a 3.1 out of 10 score. On the usual A plus to F scale, uh, it gets a sort of E plus, 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10, but they said they would give it a 3.1. I hate people who are trying to be clever in their reviews. Did you see Prince of Persia? No. I saw it in theaters twice. (laughs) on purpose no i saw it because i was excited about it because i was a fan of the games it was bad but then i think my girlfriend at the time i needed we needed to do something with her sister and that's what she wanted to do or something but um it wasn't great it wasn't great jake gyllenhaal yeah uh not persian not persian not not, not but he could be the prince of the persians at paris uh this is because of the prince of persian line it has to be assassin's creed and that movie was really fucking boring so god gosh guys please join our patreon (laughs) We're not going to get money. We're going to get loads all. We our- have the more cursing we can do. That's true. That's yeah. true. If you we donate, make a goal. if we get fifty patrons, then we just curse. Not yeah. Per episode, if you donate, we can curse per dollar. <laughs> Use one <laughs> curse. You know what? It's weird that they haven't turned Bioshock into a movie yet. I know that they're working on it. It's one of those ones that's they're always Been working, working on, on forever. Metal Gear Solid's the same thing. Oscar Isaac's yeah. supposed to be Solid Snake, but uh. that makes a lot of sense, honestly. Yeah. But he might be like too old by the time it gets made and they'll have to cast Tom Holland. But Assassin's, Assassin's Creed is my guess. And Assassin's Creed is correct. Nice. Can you guess the Rotten Tomato score of Assassin's Creed? She's got to get within Assassin's 10. Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed. Did you see that movie? No. I went to theaters. I love the games. Uh, it was very bad. That's how they get yeah. you. That's how they get very you. Bad. They don't They do, They don't. don't need you to like the movie. They need you to go see it. 26%. That is very good. And within 10, Nick, it was... 19 percent wow that's so tomatoes right 19 percent uh well let's see if you can do some of them guess the detective pikachu rating 76 percent oh 69 percent you're really close guess the tomb raider rating the new one or angelina Jolie? the new one yeah the new one the new one i think it has a 67 percent 52 Damn it. what about rampage that has a i feel like i can't i can't remember if people liked it or not i'm gonna say that has a 38%. 51%. Damn. Damn. Can you guess Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within? Oh. I like that movie at the time. That probably has like a a, a 45%. Shut up. Did you see the reflection of my glasses? That's literally exactly right. How did you get that? Yeah, I'm a god. Holy crap. And last one, Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia, uh, 12%. 37 Damn. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody liked that movie. Uh, someone did not care he was not Persian. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, good game. I really, I was so confident, uh, but I hope you guys did better at home than I did. Now try this trivia. Now try this trivia. Now trivia. Now trivia. Now trivia this.